This video will explain how to find the zeros and the vertex of a parabola. We're going to be using two different functions this time. First, we're going to be using y equals x squared minus x minus 2. So let's take a look at what that graph looks like. You'll notice that there are two zeros, and here's how we're going to find them. We're going to use the calc function again, so we're going to press second calc, and this time we're going to look for zero. So we're going to select number two, and we need what's called a left bound and a right bound. Now in this problem you'll see that there are two zeros and we need to tell the calculator what value of x is a little to the left of where the zero is and a little to the right. So we're going to work with the zero on the left first and for left bound we're going to use the left arrow to move that little cursor somewhere to the left of where we think the zero is then press enter and then for the right bound, we're going to move the cursor somewhere to the right of where the zero is and press enter again. And you'll notice that on the color calculators you see these two vertical lines that will tell you that the place where the function crosses the x-axis is somewhere between those two vertical lines. Now if for some reason it's not, you just need to do this process again. Next, we're asked for a guess. So this time, as before, we'll move the cursor close to where the zero is and then press enter. And we'll see that this zero is at the point negative one or y equals zero. Now let's find the other zero. Once again, we'll press second calc, select two for zero. And this time we'll move the left bound closer to the other point, but still to the left of it and then we'll press enter and move the right bound to the other side of the zero and we'll press enter and then we'll in this case use the left arrow to move the cursor someplace close to the zero press enter and we see that the other zero is at two zero now let's find the minimum point which is also the vertex for that, we'll again go into second calc and we'll look for minimum. And since the parabola goes the way it goes, it opens up, the minimum is what we're looking for. So the left bound we indicate by moving this cursor somewhere to the left of where we think the minimum is. Then we press enter, move it somewhere to the right of where the minimum is press enter, make a guess, press enter, and then we see that the minimum is at, it says 0.499, but it looks like it's really one half, that's 0.5, comma, negative two and a quarter. Now let's do this one more time. This time we're going to use a function that opens the other way. Now in the y equals, I've stored one, and I'm going to use the left cursor to move to the left once so that the cursor is over the equal sign. Now you notice that the equal sign on the y1 is darkened, which means that that's the function that's going to be displayed. We're going to move the cursor to the left, press enter to remove that function, go down one, and press enter to darken that. Now we can look at the graph. Now the zeros are found in the same way. I'll do those quickly so that we can see what they are. So we're going to use second calc zero and the left bound is already to the left. The right bound we're going to move up here, enter and guess, enter. And that zero point is approximately um, 0.59 We'll find the other one, zero, and the left bound will move over closer to the second zero. Nope, went a little too far, so let's go back. Enter, 
and then we'll move to the right, enter, take a guess, enter, and that second zero is at about 3.41. Now, if we want to find the vertex on this one, we'll need to find the maximum. So we'll go to second calc, and we'll select number four, maximum, and once again, we'll move our left bound somewhere to the left of where we think the maximum is, press enter, move it somewhere to the right, press enter, move our guess a little closer, press enter, and we'll see that the maximum is at 2 comma 4.